rain. We're famous for it here in the UK. In fact, sometimes it feels like it never stops raining. But did you know that each time it rains, an accurate record of exactly how much precipitation has fallen is kept? In fact, in England and Wales, we've kept accurate records since 1766. That's how long we've been moaning about the weather. Now, these accurate records are kept to figure out the average rainfall spatially over the country. And in time, over the years, we can actually see changes in the climate. You can help record rainfall in your area by building a rain gauge from everyday items and you never know, your results might even be used by the Met Office. So in true Blue Peter style, this is what you'll need. An empty plastic bottle, a two litre fizzy drink bottle would be ideal, scissors and some modelling clay. Now first you need to make sure that there are no labels on the bottle. Then what you've got to do is cut around the bottle two thirds of the way up. So kids, you're going to have to get your adults to help you with this. And once you've done that, you've got two bits obviously. The bottom bit is going to be used for measuring the rainfall. Now in order to get an accurate measurement, you need the bottom of the bottle to be absolutely flat. Now this one's actually got ridges. In order to overcome this problem, you can actually use modelling clay and stick it right at the bottom of the plastic bottle and create a flat surface. You might need a lot of modelling clay. Now, because we're in the Blue Peter Garden, well, of course, here's one I made earlier. And you can see that the surface is absolutely flat. And when you've done that, you use the other bit of the bottle, you turn it upside down, you put it through, and effectively you're creating a funnel for the rainfall to fall through and accumulate at the bottom. And once you've caught the rainfall, you can take a ruler and measure just how much rain you've had. Now to start measuring rainfall accurately, you need to find a good spot for the rain gauge, nice open space away from the trees and buildings, a bit like this one here. So now you're ready to start your rain diary. So here's a bit of rain in our rain gauge. You measure it with a ruler, with millimetres, and when you've measured the rainfall, remember to tip it out. And when you've done that, you can start your diary taking note how many millimetres of rain you've had. And remember, it's very important to measure your rain at the same time every day, preferably first thing in the morning before work or school. You can share your rainfall records with the Met Office website to help establish a rainfall pattern across the UK. And also don't forget to tell us here at the Great British Weather. And if you use Twitter, you can use hashtag BBC GBW.